Now the next step is to place it into an Illustrator file. because that's what the laser cutter is expecting. Uh, new. Um, generally, you just want to select something big enough to hold the thing you've got. 8.5 by 11 is fine. We're going to say File Place. And we're going to select the St. Barbara negative. We're not linking it, we're actually placing it inside, so our file will be entirely contained in the Illustrator file, all two and a half megabytes. And there it is. Command R turns on the rulers. Um, we can also see in the transform, it is in fact the same size that we created it at, which is great. The last thing we want to do is draw a box around it. From this corner, oops, down to this corner. And our box should have a black stroke and no fill. So now we can see what's behind it. And the stroke is determined by the laser cutter. So a one point stroke the laser cutter would etch. It's a thick enough line. But a 0 .025 stroke the laser cutter knows to cut. So we'll actually slice that out. It's a very fine line where it's going to cut and everything that it's going to etch away. When we get over to the laser cutter um, I'll show you how to actually etch that file. So we can save it as St. Barbara uh, Cut Ready. This is all fine. Now we're ready to make our plate.